when we say slavery, we think shackles and chains. Uh, being in a cult is like being locked in a house where all the doors are wide open. You don't need to physically imprison someone when you hijack their mind. The area of the mind is so misunderstood and and uh, people just don't get how powerful mind control is. We need to start recognizing mental abuse, emotional, spiritual, financial abuse, and seeing that damage equal to physical abuse. People in a cult do not realize that they're brainwashed. They can't see it. I didn't see it. If you had told me this when I was in there, I would have disregarded you and gone on my merry way. Uh, Our brains are actually designed to keep us safe and to keep us uh, in survival. The most dangerous time for someone in an abusive relationship or group is when they try to leave. If it's with a husband, that's when they come after you, right? Like that has been well documented in a cult when you try to leave, especially if you don't go away quietly, they that's when they that's when they lash out at you. So your brain is actually being very smart and keeping you safe. People that are in there that think, you know, I'm not in a dangerous thing. I love my group. I'm happy. And I definitely was in that camp and uh I didn't care. People were calling it a cult. I was like, yeah, it's a cult, you know, and they actually reframed cult. They were like, oh, we're the cult of sex and bling, you know, it it doesn't matter because we're just happier than you are. We're more successful than you are. You don't get it. Um, So part of that is actually a uh, survival tactic and very smart by your brain. And uh, so just because someone says that they're happy or they're not being abused, they're there by choice, doesn't mean that it's true. 